What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using one of the coolest pseudo legendaries of all time. From Generation 8, we got ourselves a Dragapult team. Now, Dragapult, super dope Pokemon, Ghost and Dragon. And honestly, it is still very good in Scarlet and Violet. This one's Rock and Clear Body with the Focus Sash alongside with a Dragon Terror type to boost Dragon Darts. Then it's got Phantom Force, Thunder Wave for Speed Control. And last but not least, it's got Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Not a lot of Pokemon outspeed this guy, but if we need it, we have it. Our restricted Pokemon on today's team features Terrapagos. Now, everybody knows Terrapagos is the real deal. You can set up some Calm Minds, get this thing super bulky, and at the same time, do ridiculous amounts of damage. This Terrapagos is Rocket Terror Shift with the Cobra Cloak, and then obviously the Stellar Terror type with Terror Star Storm, Calm Mind, Flamethrower, and Protect. Our final four Pokemon are all pretty meta Pokemon. You got Incineroar and Rollboom doing Incineroar and Rollboom things we got ogre pond and confi confi is a little bit more of an off meta pick but it serves as a great healer and great support pokemon next to terapagos ogre pond great physical attacker and like i said confi's rocking uh floral healing we just sit there on the field with terapagos all day constantly heal it up and pretty much just bring us to victory guys what i'm about to see for yourself rental code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel but without further ado let's hop to our first match showcasing dragapult in ranked regulation g we're hopping into our first match, and as you guys can see, we got ourselves another No Beanie episode. My hair, a little bit messy right now. Just a little bit. Honestly, I'd rather wear the beanie, because I usually put product in my hair, but I didn't want to put product in my hair and then put my headphones on and just get the product all over my headphones. It'd just be a pain in the neck for me. So honestly, I'd probably rather wear the beanie recording, but you guys like me with the No Beanie, I'll rock the No Beanie more often, but we'll, we'll bounce back and forth. Depends on how I'm feeling. But we're going up against Ice Rider Kallax here in match number one. Alongside with Zapdos, uh, Incineroar, and then they got Landorus, Ogre Pond, and last but not least, Urshifu. Um, few physical attackers. If I had to guess, Clear Amulet is probably on that Ice Rider Kallax. So we might just want to go into like Terrapagos and maybe try to Calm Mind Boost. Not a bad idea for us. It's not a bad idea. I mean, Terrapagos is pretty bulky. We could go into a Fake Out user turn one. The only way of setting up Trick Room is probably Calyrex. It is Calyrex. So I think just going into like Terrapagos alongside with Incineroar, it's a pretty good lead for us, right? I do like that. I do like that. We'll bring Dragapult in the back end. Last but not least, probably Rillaboom? Or do I go like Ogre Pond here? I do like Ogre Pond. I do like Ogre Pond, especially with Water Absorb. It can actually help us out up against their Ogre Pond. And if that Urshifu is Water, which it usually is, right? Could be Dark, don't get me wrong. But for the most part, a lot of people rock Water Urshifu. Then we got Water Absorb Ogre Pond to deal with that. We love it. <clears throat> we love it. We love it. So let's see who they end up leading here. Uh, if they lead Calyx, you might just want to fake that out and set up a Calm Mine. Or we can get straight after and just start dropping Terra Star Storms. I mean, Calm Mine's really good, though. But it's going to actually be Landorus and... Zap those. Now from here, I think we definitely have to set up a combine and we have to fake out somebody. And I think by faking out this Lando, it's definitely better than faking out Zapdos. They could set up a Tailwind, don't get me wrong, but I think we fake out the Lando and we get off a combine. I'm all in for that. I am all in for that. Maybe they just protect the Zapdos. That'd be lovely. They just protect Zapdos and we get off a free combine turn. That'd be amazing. That would be amazing. Lando's gonna protect. So pretty smart protect from him. Show me a double protect. Show me a double protect. That'd be awesome. No, you son of a biscuit. So good little play from them. We are gonna be able to get off combine. We still have our Terra Shell, which is nice. And he's gonna set up a light screen. Woo! Little zip zap with the screens. So I get off my combine boost. I think bringing out Grass Terrain is nice for us. I could set up another combine, but do I want to? I think I'd rather just try to start sending these bad boys, you know? And save her in Cinemore for later. Yeah, oh, I don't have Rollaboom. I thought I had Rollaboom. I got Ogre Pond. Yeah, I still like Ogre Pond swapping in here. Does that mean eating up ground moves? Gonna be pretty nice. Especially if you're going for, like, Sands here, Storm. The Light Screen is here. We do have Follow Me with you. We do have Taunt. We do have Spike Shield. Um, yeah, I just think swapping this Cinemore rather than leaving it in here and going and uh probably losing it to a uh earth power or a sand here storm it's just not not in our best interest right yeah i'd rather swap it I'd rather get out a grass pokemon i bring out my ogies my ogs and i'm gonna hit that terra button stellar terra combine boost it 
can't go wrong with that. I know they have light screen, but might as well start attacking now. You never want to get too greedy with like the, any stat boosting moves, right? Sometimes it pays off, but for the most part, once you get off one, you, you should usually start attacking, start getting your value out of it. Because a lot of times you can just lose it. But Terrapico's going to end up dodging that, which is great. Ogre Pond soaks this rather well. Um, I think he doubles down into Terrapicos, which is fine. And he's going to Volt Switch Pivot, which is no big deal. He's going to save his Zapdos. We know it has Light Stream. We know it has Volt Switch. It could have Reflect. I don't think it has Reflect. Probably has Tailwind and then like another attacking move, maybe. And it could be Vested as well. A lot of Zapdos do rock the best. Actually, it's not Vested because you can't use Light Stream with a Vest. He's going to bring out Calyx. So we're going to be able to get off some damage onto Calyx, which is pretty helpful for us. Pretty good for us. So from here, Terra Star Storm is going to fly. How much damage is this doing behind the screen? Or plus one on special attack. Let's check it out. Not bad. Honestly, the Calyrex soaks rather well. Calyrex soaks rather well. We're going to go for another one here. Because this will KO the landers. And we should just double down into... I could taunt him. I could taunt him, but I think doubling down might do enough damage. Because you could be going for Trick Room. Would you, would you be going for Trick Room? I mean, I got Incineroar late game. Do I taunt you? I kind of feel as we should taunt you. I'm going to taunt the Calyrex. Lando's going to go for Earth Power. We soaked this all day. And we're going to taunt this thing up. I don't want to go in for Trick Room. I don't mind if it hits me with Glacial Lands. Actually, Glacial Lands might KO me. I'm going to hope it goes for Trick Room. The Terra Star Storm is going to KO the Lando, I believe so, unless we leave it on one, which would be devastating. And of course, so like every time I leave it on one, and he does go for Glacial Land, so I probably should just double down into him. This really hurts the soul. Both my Pokemon do eat, which is good news. And from here, I can just protect Terrapagos and attack Lando. I mean, I could go for Follow Me here. And say that he's going for an Earth Power and just sacrifice you instead. Um, but I think... Hmm. No, because then you can just go for Sans here, Storm. You know what? I'm just going to go for Ivy Culture here. Look at take out Lando. He's probably going for Earth Power. So I'm just going to protect and waste out some Light Stream. Could be Light Clean. I got to kind of see if it's Light Clean. He does go for a Sans here, Storm, which is actually a really good call for him. And he's going to end up landing us. So, I mean, that's okay for us. That is okay for us. Now do I bring out Dragapult? Really fast Dragapult? I mean, I go for Sucker Punch. Only problem is Glacial Lance KOs us. Actually, we have Sash. We have Sash, and this could really clutch up. We're gonna go in Dragapult here. I'm gonna use my Focus Sash. It's time to use the Focus Sash. It is time to use the Focus Ash. So if I can pull off this Flamethrower, that'd be really nice. I could try to KO you, and I could just Sucker Punch here. Because Lando's got to be Choice, right? I feel like, Actually, it's not Choice. He has a Withdraw on Calyrex. That's fine. So Withdraw's Calyrex. He's going to go maybe back into Zapdos here. And he does. So Flamethrower's going to fly in that slide. He ends up just protecting Lando. Okay. So it protects Lando. Sucker Punch gonna fly and get blocked. So I can spam Sucker Punch. He's not choice, so honestly, my Dragon Pull outspeeds. My Dragon Pull definitely outspeeds. I mean, obviously, I shouldn't know he's not choice due to the fact that, uh. Due to the fact that he, uh, has protect. So I'm just gonna go Dragon Darts now. Dragon Pull is so fast, though. Look how fast this thing is. This thing cooks. This thing cooks. 213. One of the fastest Pokemon. So fast, and then we can just start sending dragon hearts around. All right, I'm cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. And we can get off another Terra Star Storm. Does Trap Ghost outspeed Zapdos? I believe it does. And this thing's definitely light clean. This thing's been sitting in the light screen for a good bit. Dragon Hearts gonna fly here. Do some nice damage on the Zapdos. The other one's gonna go into Lando. We're gonna say bye bye to him. And show me outspeed Terry. And no, but you get off with Tailwind. So we Tailwind's up. Hopefully we can KO this Aptos here. I still have Focus Ash, which is really good for... Really good for my uh, Dragapult. 
So Terra Star Sun flies, it ends up picking up the KO, which is gorgeous. We have Calyrex rather low on HP, but again, they do have a Tailwind up. We also have our Focus Ash, which is massive. So we gotta see who they go into. I think Dragapult will still outspeed Calyrex. He's gonna go into Urshifu, which is Dark Urshifu. Okay, so Dark Urshifu comes through here. We still have Incineroar, which is pretty good for us. I mean, Tailwind's scaring me. Obviously, you can Sucker Punch me. But I don't know if you Sucker Punch me, because I'm gonna go Flamethrower into this slot. Is Light Screen still here? Kinda getting out of hand at this point if Light Screen's still here. Yeah, you have eight turns in it. And you still have Terra, don't you? You still have Terra, which I think you're gonna send over onto Calyrex here, maybe. But I'm just gonna go for Terra Star Storm. And I'm gonna rip a Dragon Darts this turn. Because again, you could Sucker Punch me, but I could still get off Dragon Darts. So I'm gonna go for Dragon Darts here. Yeah, he does go for Sucker Punch. I'm sashed. I'm using my Sash. Again, Dragon Bolt should outspeed Calyrex. Hopefully, Trap Ghost can too. We'll see how slow this uh, Calyrex is. But Dragon Darts is gonna launch here. He's gonna do mediocre damage to that Calyrex. And it does mediocre damage over there. And he's gonna end up getting off the Glacial Lance. Man! That's tough. Yeah, that Tailwind play was smart. Just set it up with the bird. I wish our Trap Ghost did outspeed it, because if we did, we were just gonna KO it and, and win the game. Because we just need some speed. If I could have gotten off one more Terra Stars from there, man, we could have been thriving. Man, we could have been thriving. But not a bad match with Dragapult and uh, Trap Ghost. Just the bulkiness of the horse is gonna get the best of us. Maybe we should have swapped into like Incineroar here. And I'm curious too. Does uh, if I would have went for Phantom Force, would have that would that Sucker Punch hit me? I was actually thinking that in my head. Would that Sucker Punch hit me if I would have went for Phantom Force? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But I'm just gonna go into this. Obviously, he's gonna close combat me and just finish this game. But GG to our opponent. Oh, we actually survived. Hold up. Wait a minute. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. He probably outspeeds me regardless. Yeah, there's high horsepower. So, GG's. Good game. We start off 0-1. Let's go have a bounce back victory in match number two. Moving on to our second match. We're going up against Dawnwing Necrozma. Pretty strong Pokemon, and this this team is Trick Room heavy. So I can go in the Comfy and maybe try to counter Trick Room. I do actually have Taunt on Ogre Pond, correct? Which is really good. So I'm honestly going to lead Ogre Pond. Try to just get after it that way. Maybe taunt whoever wants to use Trick Room. And maybe try to set up a Calm Mind because they got a lot of special attackers. So I like going Trap Ghost. I could change Weather with Trap Ghost as well. Or not change Weather. I could take away Weather, I should say. And maybe going into Comfy could be really good for us. And last but not least, Rillaboom for Terrain Control. Would we like Terrain Control? Yeah, probably. But mm, I feel like a lot of their Pokemon, or at least Torkoal, is a pretty big threat to me. A Poison Terror, which is eh. It's okay. It's okay. Would I rather go Dragapult here? Now we're gonna go Rollboom. We are gonna go Rollboom. Because Rollboom works wonders up against the uh, Raquanid and the uh, and the Ursaluna. So that could be good. But it is match number two. We lost match number one. So you guys know we're looking to bounce back here. We're sitting 0 1. We are sitting 0 1 looking for this victory for you guys. And honestly, that last match was kind of close. That Calyrex was just super bulky bit too bulky for us so looking for a win here looking for a little bit of a win let's see what they got cooking i mean necrozma and Indy. so one of them wants to set up trick room it's probably necrozma i mean combine is going to be our best friend and we're just going to set it up we taunt indeedy though or do we swap for terrain control because that is definitely an expanding force boy let's 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 not sugarcoat it that's definitely an expanding force necrozma um, I think taking terrain is just huge for us right here. I'm gonna take terrain and just set up a combine. I'm gonna take terrain, set up a combine. We get fake out, waste a turn. Um, could maybe U turn the next turn because we don't want them just like having expanded force ready to go. That's 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 the big problem. It's just expanded force ready to go. That's the main problem. So if we can just waste that a couple turns. Should be able to get after it with our with our squad here. So let's see what they want to do. I, it's got to be follow me, Trick Room, right? I think it's got to be follow me, Trick Room. I would hate for them to just attack me here. But I, th I think they're trying to set up this Trick Room. They're going to roll boom. Take that terrain right back. We say, yo, that terrain, it ain't yours. It's mine. 
And I'm gonna go for combat boost. No follow me comes out here. Looking a little scary. Not gonna sugarcoat it. And someone's setting up trickering here. Are you calm mining? Are you trickering man? What's going on here? He's going for expanded force. See, I knew it. I knew it. I'm gonna terror shell this. I'm gonna terror shell this. And you're gonna go for trickering. That's fine. And it's actually only a solo hitting move, which is good. And there's the trick room. The trick room comes out here. We have terrain control. Uh, you turn pivoting is not bad for us. I think I'm just going to protect Rap Ghost, get some HP back, and maybe just U turn pivot him out. Because who could you potentially swap into here? Ursa Luna, maybe? Torkoal? I mean, that's what we want to save Rap Ghost's uh, thing for. So I'm going to U turn pivot. I'm just going to send it into the Indeedee, who I think is going to swap, bro. I really do think indeed he swaps, but just in case he doesn't, and we'll just protect his turn. And get back some HP due to terrain. Alright, so we need Rollboom. They want to go in the Torkoal, that's when we want to just take terrain and go that way. I could have honestly just faked out Necrozma and set up another Combine. But by doing that... Oh, indeed he's going for Helping Hand here. I was going to say, by doing that, we could have a little bit of a tough time with, uh... With them swapping in DD. But hopefully he's going after Trap Ghost again. He's going for Meteor Beam. This has got to be going into Trap Ghost. There's no way you're sending it into Rollboom. So he is going to get that special attack boost, which is does help him out a little bit. Does help him out a tad bit. And we're going to be able to U turn pivot out of here and do great damage. Awesome. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And I can go in the comfy. Maybe just keep going calm my boosts, right? Right? So if I floral if I floral heal to max, do I get terror shell again? That's the real question. That is the real question. Let me let me see. Does it say that with you? The Pokemon shell contains the power of each type. All damage deal moves that are hit that hit the Pokemon once HP is full will be so yeah, so I get terror shell right back. Get terror shell right back. We'll go for floral healing. And we'll set up another combine here. And withdraw indeed. We're gonna help another combine. We're going right back into Terra Shell. And I can just protect next turn. You go into Hatterene. Hatterene comes out here. Little healing flies. We want our Terra Shell back. I know he is plus one on special attack. And he's going for a Moon Guys Beam. Okay. Plus one. Gonna do some damage. Not enough though. So we still have our Terra Shell. And I eat up my Citrus Berry, which is beautiful. I'm trying to think of what what could their final Pokemon be because I kind of just want to send my uh, my Stellar Terror right now and just start attacking. How many turns are left in their Trick Room? So I can honestly just protect Cancel out Trick Room or I could just double protect here and Terrasalize next turn. Thing is, they could probably pop double trick room, which is not a good sign for me. I'm just gonna double protect. Let's waste out another turn. Let's waste out another turn. Because they're not swapping into a DD, which is good news for us. We still have Robo in the back end, which we love. Um, I'm just curious to see who their final Pokemon is. So now we're pretty much forced to attack. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit the Terror button next turn. I'm gonna hope that they don't have to work on the back end. I'd hope it'd be Ursa Luna more so than anything. The Trap goes still full HP. And I could use Terra Shell to my advantage. But I am just gonna double down into Hatterene here. Go for Terra Star Storm. Just start ripping. Because Necrozma is a bit more bulkier than than uh Hatterene. And the one thing I don't want him doing is Getting a double trick him off. And he's gonna swap Hatterene. So he's gonna save Hatterene and we're just gonna KO in Didi. So Didi's gonna die out here. And I think that they KO Comfy. And if we KO in Didi, they KO Comfy, we get Terrain Control for the rest of the match. The expanded Force. Ooh. Ugh! Looking scary. Definitely looking scary. But I am plus two on special defense. They are plus one on special attack. Maybe I should have just stayed in my normal state and just used my Terror Shell one last time. Us. 
Could have been great. Actually, I take out terrain. That's massive. I take out terrain. <laughs> that is so big. I totally forgot we take out terrain. Get on out of here, terrain. Terrain going. We missed out these shrikam turns really well. Expanded Force is going to fly here. Should soak this easily. Great. Beautiful. And I'm able to floor heal again if I want to. Trap Ghost really just thriving out here. Trap Ghost doing Trap Ghost things. Let's be honest here. Taking out you doing more than half to Necrozma, so my next one will KO. And Trick Room is over. It's gone. It's gone. So maybe instead of Floral Healing, we might just want to send a Draining Kiss into whatever Pokemon they send out here. And it's going to be a Rackman, so I don't have to worry about Torkoal coming in here, taking the weather, and really doing us dirty. This match is pretty much pretty much set, right? We'll go for Draining Kiss here. We'll go for another Terra Star Storm. I think they might just cancel the match. We just owned this. We just owned it. Wasting out Trick Room perfectly. Getting off for Calm Minds, two of them to be exact. And now just using our uh, Thrasilization to our advantage. I told you guys, this is our bounce back match. I got you guys. Jeans, no beanie, never loses his bounce back matches. Never. So we drain a kiss for about negative five damage, but we get a little bit of HP back. And my most hated enemy comes out to haunt me. Wide guard. Hold up. Give me a sec. What are you going for, Necrozma? Taking out my comfy here. Give me, give me a sec. I mean, let me... Yeah, I'm gonna take out my comfy. All right. I, I always forget about why. That's like my one thing. I don't know why I always do that, but I always do it. I always do it. We're still, we're still sitting pretty good here. Still like where we're sitting. Sync does have a little bit of leftovers action. But I think by going into Roll Boom, just going this way is our, is our best option. I am going to send another Terra Star Storm. Actually, I could just fake out you just so you can't send, send that. Yeah, yeah. We're just going to fake out a Rackwood and then go into a Terra Star Storm. I was going to say, I could just hit that thing with a Wood Hammer, but faking out this thing, allowing it not to set up a Wide Guard is definitely what we want to do. One, we just need to land one more Terra Star Storm and we got this game on pretty much lock. Man, I hate Wide Guard. It's so good, but I always forget about it. Always. Like, I never learn. Maybe like 1 in 100 times, I'll remember it. But other than that, I feel like it's every other video. I'm like sitting in a good position. I'm like, yeah, we're about to win this thing. Then Wygaard pops out. I'm like, dude, why do I always forget this? It's every time. It's every time. But we'll see a Terror type pop out here. Is it going to be Necroz? kind of hoping it's Necroz. Better not be Ghost. <laughs> why are you Ghost? <laughs> yes, for this reason. Are you going for another Wygaard? That's the real question. They don't go for Wygaard. All right, bye-bye. Thanks for playing. Wow, can't believe you, you terrestrialized Ghost just to not go for Wygaard there. I feel like they were sitting there like, he's not going to go for another Terra Star, so I'm thinking I'm going to go for a Wygaard, but I was just faking that the whole time. Ghost Terra type, that would have been crazy. You Ghost Terra type and Wygaard and then just dump on Robin with Moon Guy's Beam. That would have been a heck of a play, but you blew it. You blew it. Now, our opponent played pretty good here. We just kind of countered him really well with what we had. Taking out Terrain early on. Sending up the Calm Minds, especially when they bring in a team of all special attackers. Calm Mind is just that much better. But from here, we can just go for a Wood Hammer. We can go for another Terra Star Storm. They're just going to cancel the match. GG's to our opponent. We're sitting 1-1. One one. Time for our final match, and we're looking for a winning record. We're sitting 1-1, one one and we're going up against a Zacian team. Whenever I see Zacian and I have Incineroar, I got to bring it in here. Especially because they have a lot more physical attackers than that. They also have Rillaboom. They have Incineroar, Urshifu, and last but not least, that's it. That's it. There's no last but not least. But they got a uh, Tornadus and Rage Bolt, two special attackers. Do I end up leading Incineroar? I feel like that could be good. But they might honestly just like read that we're going into that. But I don't mind it because then I can still fake out. Yeah, I'm going to end up going to Rapagos and Incineroar. To Rapagos and Incineroar with Dragapult in the back end. Obviously, we love ourselves some Dragapult. And do I go Confi? Do I go Rollaboom? Do I go Ogre Pond? What I want here. I kind of want Robin. I think it's Raging Bolt's looking terrifying. I don't really know how I'm going to deal with that besides Terrapagos. Could Confi be good? I mean, Drain and Kiss can maybe do a little bit of work, but Robin, I think it's going to be our play. 
I think Rolboom's gonna be your play. I mean, we can't really hit too hard up against Raging Bolt. But we're gonna try. Raging Bolt's just such a good Pokemon. Ever since it's been released, it's easily a top dragon type. It has been insanely strong. I feel like down the road we're gonna consider this Pokemon one of the best of all time. It's just stats are ridiculous. It really is. It's just such a strong Pokemon all around. But they're gonna end up leading this Zacian, which is great. We get to intimidate this bad boy right off the red. Um I can fake it out as well. And I think going into like the fake out combine kind of plays is easily what we want to do. Even though I think they swap Zacian. But I think maybe he's covert cloaked on a Tornadus regardless. But I think we gotta fake out. I think we have to fake out. I think it's a free pick. As much as I want to read, actually, we're just going to parting shot. I'm going to read him swap and Zacian. I'm going to actually parting shot and just set up combine. A little bit of parting shot action. Just get on out of here. Set up combine. They're, they're swapping Zacian. Or maybe protecting it. They got fake out on the field. So I'm just going to parting shot this turn. Playing mind games here. Playing mind games. They think I'm going for fake out. Nah, man. We're going straight for parting shot into your other slot. You're definitely protecting our swap and Zacian. And then I'll just have Incineroar in the back end if that's the case. I'll be real upset if they don't protect or if they don't swap Zacian. I'd rather them protect Zacian. Because then it just stays on the field being even on the attack board. Which is still pretty strong. Like Zacian's still pretty strong even, but it really flourishes when it's plus one. He just goes for a play rough. Oh, how dare you? I can't believe you just did that. He's gonna go for a bleak windstorm to follow. Dodge this. Someone dodge this. None of you guys dodge this. Incineroar should soak. Good news. I could have just threw a burn into that Zacian, but I really did think it was swapping. But I think that turn's pretty good for us. I mean, we get off a combine boost. We're able to parting shot out of here. Um, and honestly, honestly, do I just fake out the Zacian and set up another combine? That can go into real boom. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? It's pretty much free. We gotta set up our boy. We gotta set up our boy. Why wouldn't I? So we got Tornadus minus one. Good news. Zacian's even. I could swap into a Sinor again to help us out a little bit. And he's just throwing Bleak Wind Storms. Which is fine. I mean, my Pokemon soak decently well. I mean, I am going to take out Terrain if I do Terrastalize, which is a slight issue. But I think we just swap into a Sinor here. Just to lower that thing's attack, because I really don't want Sacred Sword just honestly just dumping into me. Let's be honest. I'd rather lose in Sinor at this point in the match. Then Rollaboom. I think having real booms a bit better for us, right? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna swap roll boom to Rastalize Terrasaurus and we also get an HP boost because of that, which is good. But he's gonna end up withdrawing Tornadus, which is fine. I'd rather hit your your attackers than than Tornadus. You're gonna swap into Incineroar. He's gonna intimidate me, but I'm intimidating him. How about them apples? And I have Curver Cloak if you want to fake out my my Trap Ghost next turn. This is a good turn for us. They got Incineroar, they got Tornadus, they got Zacian. Um, if last Pokemon's not Raging Bolt, I really like, like where we're at. But I'm taking out this train right here. We don't we don't we don't need the grass train. We can reset it later. But we got Zacian minus one, which is good. I mean Sacred Sword can still do a big chunk of damage if it's rocking it. Most likely it is rocking it. Let's see what he ends up doing here. What you got here, Zacian, for me? Going for Behemoth Blade. Okay, that's fine. I soak this. I soak this rather well. Rather well. And I keep my Incineroar on the field. I thought, Incine I thought we were sending out Incineroar to his death. But I lied. Terra Star Storm plus two. Love the damage. Love the damage. So he's going to bury up. Uh, I have Curve Cloak. I got Curve Cloak. We're just going to fake out the Zacian again. I got Curve Cloak. So I'll go for Terra Star Storm. Hopefully they fake out my Terrapagos. And then I can just sit here with Dragapult late game, right? There's Fake Out into Incineroar. Smart play. But do you KO my Incineroar? That's the real question. 
You do. That's fine because now I KO Zassian and I KO your Incineroar, and then I can bring out Dragapult. Dragapult! Lovely. Awesome. Not bad for us. Getting rid of Zassian and Incineroar for the price of our Incineroar. Beautiful. So we'll have Rillaboom late game. We'll bring out Dragapult right now. Dragapult can get some speed control for us. And if they want to bring out Rage Bolt, could maybe just go into like a Fairy Terra. Oh, that'd be scary. We really hope they don't have Rage Bolt. But if they do Terrastalize, we're bulky right now. We're bulky on Special Defense. Real bulky on Special Defense. It's going to be Urshifu instead. Water Urshifu. Now this is uh, it's where things get a bit, bit scary here. This is where things get real scary. Real scary. I am going to go for Phantom Force into here because I want to do as much damage as I can. And we got to go for Terra Star Storm. But I think they could just go Tailwind Surge of Strikes and really just take out my Terrap Ghost. But at that point, I get to bring out Roll Boom. I can fake out a little bit. Hmm. Phantom Force does hit through Protect, which is nice. If you don't go for Tailwind here, I think I just win, right? Because if I get off one more Terra Star Storm, we just win this game. Oh, this one's close. This is a close game, man. Urshifu doing me dirty. I, I, I actually would rather have it be Raging Bolt. As much as I was saying how much I don't want it to be Raging Bolt, Urshifu's scary because Urshifu is legit the only Pokemon that can take out my Terra Ghost. And he's going to Terrasalize it. He's going to go for the damage. Water Terra. Stellar Terra. Ooh. A little Stellar Terra. Getting after it. He goes for Tailwind, so he's gonna say bye bye to my boy. Go for Sucker Punch instead, and then my Dragon Bolt. No, you're close combat. Yeah, that's bye bye. I thought you were just gonna go for Surgeon Strikes, just make it simple, but I mean, you can lower your defenses. That's fine. Surgeon Strikes would have done the trick. It's guaranteed crits. Surgeon Strikes would have done the trick. But, I'd rather you do that. Alright, so now I get to bring out Roll Boom. I got Phantom Force flying under the radar. Um. Do I go for the fake out onto the, uh. What do I do here? Do I go for the fake out onto the Urshifu? Huh. Yeah, Tailwind set up. Could just go for Grass Guide. Can we survive a Bleak Wind Storm? That's the real problem. He might just attack this turn. I'm gonna hope that you're not Cobra Cloaked. I'm gonna fake out you. But I think Phantom Force can do the trick in KO. And I think you're just gonna detect the, uh, the Urshifu here and go for Bleak Wind Storm. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna fake out you. You Cobra Cloaked? Cool, you're not Cobra Cloaked. Phantom Force is gonna hit through the detect. You're minus one in defense, and you live on one. Now I can just grass glide that. Now I can just grass glide that. Focus Sash up. Break through the protection. Dragon Pool. Love it. Love that Phantom Force play right there. Love it. So you could go for another detect. You could go back to back detects. I'm just gonna start throwing Dragon Darts around. And I'm going to go for Grass Guide into the slot. So we put this one actually really well. It's looking good. I think the only way they could possibly win this one would be to land a double protect. I mean, I still have Focus Sash on my, uh, on my Dragon Pult, which is nice for us. But if they land a double protect, that could be scary. I think they have to go for the double protect. I think it's an absolute must for them. If they don't, night night. Thanks for playing. Yeah, dude, I love this team. Dragon Pult. I haven't used Dragon Pult in so long. I end up not going for a double detect. We say bye-bye to Urshfu. Now we can double Dragon Darts down into this slot, which is awesome. 50 base power, but hitting twice. But hitting twice. He's going to rock a Bleak Windstorm. Can we... So oh, Rollboom dodges. I was going to say, can Rollboom soak this? Rollboom just dodges it straight up. Playing no games. Dragon Darts launches, and is he doing a trick? No, I don't think so. Pretty close to it. Bringing him down to red. Bringing him down to red. And from here, I can just go Sucker Punch and Grassy Glide. Night, night. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. We're going to grab ourselves a 2-1 winning record. Dragapult clutching up late in match number three. We love this Pokemon so much. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Rocking out with Dragapult and Trapagos and grabbing ourselves a winning record. I absolutely love this team. Like I mentioned in today's video, haven't used Dragapult in a good bit. So it felt good to actually use it and grab some wins with it. Did some big time damage with Phantom Force and Dragon Darts. Always a solid move for that Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. If you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.